and welcome to Family Album. This, this time on Family Album, we're doing a little bit something different. We are going to be talking to Susan Luckwitz, Amy Luckwitz, and Suzanne Bowering, owner of Holiday Travel on Main Street in Wakefield. Suzanne is well known in the area for her wonderful trips that she posts on Facebook. And I am one of her followers. Every time she goes away, I'm on there looking to see what they're doing next. And some of what she does is family travel. So we have today mother and daughter, Susan Lekowitz, Amy Lekowitz, and Suzanne put the trip together that uh, they were able to go on together as mother and daughter. So I'd like to talk with them, all three of them today, about family travel and how it works and maybe how it doesn't. Maybe we'll talk about some destinations they've been to and anything else they want to talk about. It's all open to what, what dialogue we choose. So with that said, I will ask Suzanne first, I would like to know how you came to be in the travel business. I've been in the industry my whole adult life. I went to school for it um, and had been a travel agent since the mid 80s. So I've known nothing else. Why travel, Suzanne? I love to travel. I can remember when I was a little girl laying on the grass, looking up and watching planes go overhead and saying, where are they going? Um, I want to go there. And yeah, the bug was bitten before I even got on a plane. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. And yeah. Amy, you like to travel with Suzanne. Yeah. Susan, you do too. <laughs> yeah. Where have you been with Suzanne? Uh, so with Suzanne, gosh, uh, Europe. And uh, we just got back from Egypt. That was a big trip that Suzanne and I went on. Um, but I think my favorite trips with Suzanne and my mom are when we do river cruises in, through Europe. Yeah. Those are my favorites. Can you tell us about that? Sure. So I love river cruising because it's all kind of taken care of, but I love history. So I love the stops that they've selected on the destinations. I think I'll speak for myself, but my favorite place is when we start in Budapest. Yeah. Yes. Budapest, yeah. as yeah. they say. Budapest, yeah. Yeah. Um, my yeah. absolute favorite. So talk about Budapest, yeah. what it meant to you. Sure. So I think for me, it's just a really great um, European city. You feel the um, history there. You definitely feel the architecture. There is a old cafe we've been i think a couple times now it's called gerbo mm -hmm. and i love to get they have um this kind of blown up uh french macaroon called an itsy pan it's the best place to get it get a cup of coffee right on the danube and then we wait till nighttime and we walk the danube with the lights all lit up um it's just my favorite it's it's a gorgeous city never on my radar before suzanne was like hey let's go there never once thought about it in my whole life of traveling um, and I've been traveling from a young age, but I never thought to go there. And then she's like, would you like to go on this trip? And I think all of all three of us yeah. love it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Budapest is one of the stops uh, on this particular river cruise. And of course, it's the Danube. I have a question about that. Is it as blue as the song <laughs> says? No. no, not at all. No. <laughs> no. It's brown yeah. <laughs> because, because it, it's, it's a working river. So it gets churned up, like the Mississippi River, or we were just on the Seine of the Thames. It, it's a working river, so it gets churned up. So no, it's not, it's not a blue river. So yeah. was it hard to convince, let's say Amy heard about the trip first, was it hard to convince mom to go with you? Not for a second. <laughs> not for no. a second. Mom's bags are always packed. Always packed. Are your yeah. bags always packed, Always, Susan? I'll go anywhere, I'll go anywhere. And I, lo I did love Budapest because it was very interesting because once you crossed over the bridge, part of it is Buda and the other part is Be uh, Pest. And one part's hilly and the other part is flat. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that right? yeah. The topography think, of our world. Unbelievable. Yeah. It yeah. is unbelievable. Yeah. It's, I think it's one of the reasons that people find travel so fascinating. Yeah. Yeah. And if, if you can't go on a trip, with Suzanne, you can follow her on Facebook because she posts these wonderful pictures and somehow or other this woman, who we know as Suzanne Bowering, we all love her, um, 
she seems to know how to navigate cities and other places and she finds little holes in the wall and secret staircases <laughs> and the right way to toss a coin into the Trevi Fountain oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> over the shoulder in yeah. some way. What else about Suzanne do you love traveling with? She's a lot of fun. You know, she keeps you moving and it's she has very interesting things and she's just great to travel with. She's a lot of fun. Okay. And she knows her business. Yes. You know? She's yes. gonna guide you the right way. She's right. not gonna point you in the wrong direction in any manner at all. Mm -hmm. My mom and I are both do not do well just sitting. Yeah. And that is not the case <laughs> on a Suzanne trip. Um, I, I don't remember who said it, but it was, this is not a vacation, it's a tour. It was yeah. Egypt. Egypt, yeah, yeah, we were there. Oh, and um, for people who want to just sit, she obviously has a trip for that as well, who want to just sit by a beach or relax, that's not for either of us. Mm -hmm. And so it's a great itinerary she always puts together for us. Yeah. It's funny you mentioned about the hidden passageways, because I remember, do you know, do you know what I'm going to say? We were, uh, we were all in Transylvania. Yeah. And we were at Dracula's Castle in Romania, <laughs> yep. and there's a secret passage, and I have a great picture, I think uh, the folks have it, of us going up the secret passage in Dracula's castle. Mm -hmm. Would I have ever thought that I'm gonna be in you know, Bram's castle in Romania? Never. How, how did you find that secret passage? I believe it was they, just kind of guided on the they tour. Got, yeah, they were telling, they were telling yeah. us about it. And Suzanne was on this part of the tour too? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Okay, so um, you stopped in Bud Buda and passed. And then Transylvania, what, where else did you oh. go? So that we started in Budapest and ended in Bucharest. So we did the Danube heading east. Um, and we were through Serbia, Romania, yeah. Yeah. Bulgaria. Bulgaria. Um, it was all the Eastern Bloc countries, um, which are totally different than Europe. Um, completely out of at least my comfort realm. And at first I'm thinking, oh wow, this is, different. I'm not sure if I really like it. And I'm thinking, why not? And I realized because I was out of my comfort realm. Why is when, that, Suzanne? When, when I'm in Europe, I can understand most of the French, most of Italian, Spanish, um, German. So I'm comfortable moving around. You can tell going by a store, okay, this is a pharmacy, this is a, a grocery store. You can just tell by the, the wording. In, in the Eastern Bloc countries, it's all the... Um, <coughs> What do they call the, the Cyrillic? Cyrillic. So it's all like funny, funny to us, funny lettering. letters, funny lettering. So I have no idea what that is. And it's completely disarming because I don't know where I am. I don't know what I'm doing. So I can't how read the you language. Able to navigate? You just, we just, there was no place we had, well, unless we had to be back on the boat, but we were just wandering through. So it's just a casual walk through the town. Um, and you don't really need to know as long as you can find your way back to the boat. Um, so you're, you're, you're more aware of your circumstances or where you are because you're paying attention because you don't know where you are versus if you're in, say, London, well, you can read everything and, okay, if we get lost, then we'll just ask someone, well, you know, or figure our way back. So it was a completely different type of, of vacation. Um, and then so we ended up in Bucharest, and one of the excursions or one of the add-ons was going, staying a couple of days extra and going up to Transylvania, up to the um, to Brahms Castle, to um, to the castle area, and we said we're here. Why not? Why yeah. not? Yeah. For an extra yeah. two days, you know, we're not coming back this way soon, mm -mm. and just do it. Mm -hmm. So that's how we ended up up there. So was Transylvania your your last stop on this cruise? It was, yeah. Then you yeah. turned around and went back. No, no, oh, we flew no. out of Bucharest. Oh. It was a one way from Budapest to Bucharest. And then we did two, I think it was two nights up near the castle, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. took the motor coach back to Bucharest and flew home from Bucharest, Romania. Okay. So that was a favorite trip from Mom and, and Amy, uh -huh. yeah. right? Love Prior it. Prior to Love it. meeting up with Suzanne on that trip, she and I had spent a week in Morocco. Oh, I loved Morocco. Well, let's hear about <laughs> Morocco. Because I've not been there, and I might like to be there someday. Oh. Yeah, it was Tell never, us about another it. one never on our radar. I don't even remember how we picked it. Uh, you did. Suzanne I, booked it again yeah, for us. Yeah, you it said was you a guided to go to tour. Morocco. I'm like, yep. Oh, Suzanne was in the mix of that, too? She booked it. She oh, wasn't she, on that tour. We yeah. met up with her in yeah. Budapest uh, yeah. a week later. Oh, yeah. okay. But we kind of did a little pre-trip for seven days in uh, Morocco, <laughs> all over Morocco. Oh. oh. 
We had a, that was a great, it I think was a of lot of fun. And again, never thought I'd ever end up in Morocco or had any interest in it. But I think yeah. Suzanne had recommended and we're like, sure, yeah. we'll go and try yeah. it. And we both and loved the dates it. matched up. The dates matched <laughs> yeah. up. Yeah. I remember our first day we landed in Rabat. <laughs> My mom and I um, slept probably like 16 hours. We were exhausted. We got up and started, just like Suzanne said, wandering the city, didn't speak a word of Arabic. Um, everybody was very friendly and we ended up at the waterfront. I remember that and walked, we must have walked Oh. 20,000 steps that day, getting to know Rabat. Um, from there, we ended up in uh, Casablanca, Marrakesh. Yeah, um, so oh. much fun. Did you at all feel intimidated walking through the city? No, not us. Not you. We don't, and we don't get lost for some reason. <laughs> well, we haven't I yet. Mean, don't what? don't think so. What? We haven't. Oh, yet. I know. We haven't yet. But you know, we usually find our way right back. I Go love ahead. a map. Yeah, I, uh, I don't like using technology when I travel. I love an old school map and, and trying to figure it out. Yeah. With no you can English, see, you no can English. see the whole. You can see the whole bigger Versus picture. Brazil, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, fun. Yep. Very yeah. interesting. Yeah. The people were great, and it was just really. so different. Just so different. Dispel this myth for me, if you will. <laughs> uh oh, I know. <laughs> when, Trick question. When we were in on Tenerife in the 1980s. Some of the people on that in that group flew over to Marrakesh, and they came back and said, "Oh, dentists are right out there in a stall, working on people's teeth with no anesthetic." Well, uh, I'm not it, gonna say it doesn't happen. I'm saying we didn't see that. You right. Didn't see that? No. 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 Mm -hmm. I can see how it would happen. I mean, there's definitely the. Um, there's really no middle class. It's very the haves and have nots. And then when you get down into the Medina area, which is a maze, do not oh. go into a Medina without a guide. You will, you will get lost. Really? Easily. And what's it in a Medina? In a Medina, so the, it's a picture like um, neighborhoods squished together on top of each other. So the roads are maybe this way, and you'll have a donkey come down this way while you're going that way. Yeah. It's, um, everybody figures it out. But if you live there, you know exactly where you are. But things just look so much the you know so similar in the again the alphabet for us is we can't read that so you absolutely will get lost without a guide in a in a medina and every major city kind of mm -hmm. has that area but you could have the tailor on top of the cobbler you know the uh, the butcher next to the florist and it's um, kind of like one stop shopping for every everyday needs but definitely a life experience yeah like tunnels it but just open, tunnels, yeah. you know. Interesting. Oh, unbelievable! They make alleys. Yeah, alleys. Alleys. alleyway. Yeah, every, everything yeah. was alley. It seems to me like what you're telling me is that they make use of every little bit of space. Great way to put it. Yeah. Yeah. That interesting. Yep. Um, while you were in Morocco, were you required to wear a head covering? No. 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 Mm -hmm. I've never been to an Arab country, and I've been to several where I've been required to. Um, generally speaking, I think. Where there is a tourist destination, they're they're quite more understanding of tourists, and understanding that you know they need to keep it attractive for foreigners who don't wear a head covering. Um, although, out of respect, when we do go into places of worship, if they ask us to, whether it be a Catholic church, by the way, or a mosque, I've always worn a head we covering. Out of, anyway. Yeah, and and oftentimes they provide it for you. We travel with one when we're going to those types of countries, just in case. Um, they ask us to, and of course, if out of respect, we will, but I've never been required to. No. Um, I've been to the Blue Mosque as well in Istanbul. I believe I wore a head covering there out of respect, but I was not required to. Tell us about Casablanca. Mm. It seems so romantic. Because of the movie, but let yeah. me tell you, it was our least favorite Moroccan yeah. city. Yeah. Why is that? It was industrial. It was a lot of office buildings. Um, we had some great... Um, shawarma there though we couldn't yes. stop eating it was really what was that amazing. shawarma <laughs> is um, kind of like spit roasted meat and um, almost what we would kind of consider like a burrito shell or a like um, a sub almost like yeah something. rat like a wrap like a wrap we found uh, a shop and we were seated upstairs and I'll never forget this we're I'm five three she's about five one five two <laughs> and the ceiling was right here it was yeah it was not um, built to have people sitting up there but we had I think we ate like three servings each we kept yeah. ordering them oh it Excellent was so good food. the food Excellent was food. good yeah but that was the best part of, a part of Casablanca for us yeah I really liked uh, Marrakesh 
Yeah, we like Marrakesh. Yeah. And then that huge um, plaza. Or no, was that in Marrakesh or was that? You know the huge plaza? Yeah, I think that was when we were there and yeah. right before the Medina. Yes. Yeah, getting into the Medina. Yeah, huge. That was interesting. Yep, and you they know. did have a snake charmer. Yeah, they, they did. did they, they had yeah. a snake charmer yeah. really? for the tourists. Yep. Um, like a lot of other countries, if you even take your camera out to take a picture, they'll charge they you. Want money. They want money back. But uh, so I don't have a picture of that. I didn't have any cash on me at the time. But I didn't dare. Yeah. But they did have a snake charmer. Yep. That is so interesting. Very interesting. Always yeah. try the coffee in places too. That's my other trip uh, trip tip. Because the coffee in in coffee. Morocco was excellent. Was it? Yeah. All right, tell me, did you see a lot of um, uh, camels, oriental <laughs> rugs for sale? Yeah. And did think... anybody buy one? Oh, no. no. We've been to a couple places yeah. where we've seen that, and um, all hand-woven, beautiful. Typically, when you go into those sorts of places, they give you a lesson on how the product is made. I think we've been to several. I couldn't yeah. tell you yeah. where else now, but I know I've been to one yeah. with Suzanne as well. But I've never bought one. It's not my style. Yeah. And they, where were we? Because they were making um, suits for people, and they would have it ready for them if they wanted it. No, that was that where was Thailand. Thailand. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that was Thailand. Oh, were yeah. you there, Sue? Yeah, and I go with Aim. Oh no! And she they, says, "Mommy, no, I go to Thailand." I'm that like, "Yeah, going to Thailand." <laughs> yeah. Was that with Suzanne too? No. 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 Who was it with? Amy. Me. Amy. But did Suzanne arrange the travel for you? Yes and no. We were there because of Rotary. That's right. Yeah. Oh, Rotary, my favorite. Yep. So yeah. I'm a Rotarian. Suzanne's a Rotarian. Mom's in the family. And so <laughs> I had gone for the international convention and invited my mother to attend with me. So we were in Bangkok. And then um, she flew out and I went scuba diving for a few weeks. But I had been before yep. um, scuba diving. So that yep. was her first time there. Yep. You ladies get around. Yeah. Yep. The Philippines. Yeah, we're in the Philippines. That with was Rotary. a Rotary thing. Yep. Let's let's just come back to something yes. that was in the present. And I know that Amy and Sue, you didn't go on this trip, but I'd love to hear from Suzanne about New Year's Eve. <laughs> this past New Year's Eve in London, we had a blast. Um, there was ten of us. We did. We were on the go, but we still had free time. Um, we saw changing of the guard. We were at the um, Tower of London for the opening ceremonies. Like we were literally the first people walking in. We had tea on a double-decker bus that was wa uh, was driving through the city. We let's see what else did we do. We went on the Thames River. We went up to Greenwich, which people know is Greenwich GMT time. So we stood one leg on Eastern Hemisphere, one leg on the Western Hemisphere. A um, couple of the people went to a show, to the theater. Um, one of my travelers went to um, the um, Victoria and Albert Museum. Um, we just, we were just having a blast. You and were just, everywhere. Yeah, just everywhere, yep. I think you were laughing in every picture. Me? Or your whole group. Oh, yeah. That group was just like yeah. having a blast, it yeah. looked like. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm yeah. Hoping, wonderful. I'm hoping That's that great. you didn't do any fly tipping. No, we didn't. <laughs> Susan and Amy, do you know what that means? No, no idea. I have no I've clue. I've been to London before. Susan, I, I thought it was me because I'm old. What? Yeah, no. Fly tipping is littering. Oh, oh. yeah. No. no, no littering. No, I had no. never heard of the term before. Yeah. I never heard never of that one. But, but we did quite almost every day have tea pigs. And what about tea pigs? I saw that on your posting too. I don't know what tea <laughs> pigs are. Tea pigs are tea bags. Why oh. are they called pigs? I have no idea. Isn't that something? Yep. Yep. I love the Cockney rhyming language. Is you never know yeah. what yeah. something means. Yeah. 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 And one of the restaurants we went, we <laughs> were driving by it, and I took a picture and I posted. It was lettuce and slug, or slug and lettuce. I forgot which one it was. And we're like, okay, what is this? So we finally went in. It was just like a glorified pub as such. So we asked the waitress, "What is slug?" Because all we could think of was like the little. Bug, Bu thing, animal, whatever, animal, whatever, yeah. whatever. Yeah. yeah. And she, we figured it must be a British term for something. Mm -hmm. No, it was the slug. It was the the buggy slug. Oh, the, no. the, 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 the kind oh, that no. no. the the oh, gets into oh, our lawns. Oh. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Mm. No, the food was fabulous. 
Um, Except for the slugs. Yeah. Somebody yep. ate liver pate and didn't yeah, like no, it. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. no, no, no Who that was, did that? The, uh, <laughs> I want to know about this. Uh, that was in Italy. Um, uh -huh. Yeah. And it was brought to our table as a compliment of the, of the chef. I don't like liver. Um, never have growing up. It was one of those things that mom and dad will have, like liver and onions, mm -hmm. like once a month. And you'd sit there, have to eat it, you know, sit there until you've eaten it. Still don't like it, and I think, okay, well, how bad can it really be? And yeah, 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 no, yeah not pretty like bad. It either. No, no, no. And I used to travel with my mom all the time, and she instilled in me to try one new thing every day. <sighs> Just a no thank you bite. If you don't like it, then then fine, just leave it, but try something new every day. She was a very adventuresome eater. I said, okay, this is gonna be my no thank you bite. It was the size of a dime, okay, on a piece of bread. So it wasn't even like this huge <laughs> mouthful. I couldn't even get it down. It was, I was like, oh my God, this is so bad. And then I got laughing and I ended up spitting it out. I couldn't even get it down. And my friend Shelly's across the table from me taking pictures and, and video of me. My, the tears were coming because it was just like so disgusting. I had to drink water. It was, it was awful. It was awful. So oh, liver sorry. pate is never not again. Not for you. Not for me. No. No. Yeah. no. Not even a no thank you bite. No. No. Well, you know, there are some foods that we yeah. just don't, yeah. are right. not compatible yeah. with. And that's Absolutely. Yours. Yeah. And I yeah. think England, they're known for overcooking mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. Like kill it. Really. Yeah. It's right. Done, done well. Yeah. Done well. Yeah. That's, mm -hmm. I, I remember that yeah. from years ago. Yeah. But mm -hmm. yeah. So do I'll, you do you have a favorite destination, Amy or Susan, or both? I'm gonna go with a Suzanne and mom trip. I loved Iceland. Yeah. Really? Loved yeah. the three of us yeah. went to Iceland uh, for the first time. Gosh, maybe now eight years, nine years ago now. Um, ten. No, yeah, is it ten? 10? Years ago. Oh my gosh! Really? Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, I've been back two went. more times since. I can't get enough of it. Um, one of my favorite places. Why? You definitely feel like you're in Europe, but also you feel like you're on the moon. Um, especially if you go. <laughs> That's a good way of Yeah, yeah the topography, it. the landscape is um, very volcanic. You're driving from uh, Keflavec Airport to Reykjavik on a bus, and you look out the window, and it's probably 10 o'clock. If, if you're there in the winter, which uh, every time I've gone, I've gone in the winter to mm -hmm. see the Aurora Borealis, the, the northern lights. Um, you look out the window, it's probably 10 o'clock in the morning, and it's still pretty dark. And yeah. you're just like, where am I? All my friends who have traveled there with me say the same thing. Are we on a different planet? It just looks different. The main street of Reykjavik is a bustling European street. Mm. Love Pedestrian. it. Pedestrian. Pedestrian, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. absolutely no wonderful. Yeah. Again, great coffee. Uh, <laughs> love, their, love their mochas there. Um, yeah. Interestingly, since Suzanne and I were there with my mom, Nothing was related to Vikings. They didn't have anything about Viking or Norse lore. Since the show Vikings has come out, everything <laughs> is about Vikings and the Norse lore. So you'll be walking down the main street and it'll be like Thor's house, Freya's house, Loki's house. <laughs> and that was not the case, yeah. I guess, 10 years ago. Yeah. Um, but since that show came out, everything is Viking and Norse, Norse mythology now. Mm -hmm. So you can get a lot of that. They have a lot of culture. Beautiful theater and opera house there. So mm -hmm. you, you're comfortable. Very helpful. Very ahead of their time over <laughs> there. Yeah. Yeah. But Icelandic mm -hmm. is their national language. Yep. Yes. What does that sound like? Russian or? Um, it does. It, so I guess it's similar to what they speak on the Faroe Islands and um, Norwegian kind of Swedish. Guttural. I will. Yeah. I when I was over there the last time, I said my one goal is going to be to learn how to read it read the alphabet and I read a street sign and my taxi driver gasped because I said it right. Could I do it now? Not so sure. <laughs> yeah. um, but to say like thank you very much is takfirir and I can't even do the proper pronunciation because my mouth doesn't isn't used to doing that kind of guttural yes. noise. Um, yeah. So it's you say tak tak <laughs> like thanks. <laughs> um, but again everybody speaks perfect English um, in the city at, at least. Yeah. Highly recommend going around the whole country if you can at the Ring Road. Um, it was my, I'll tell you about an adventure if you're interested in that. I would that we love all did. to hear of an adventure. So, yeah. and we love uh, adventures. I can't <laughs> yes. really say about thing. Verger National Park, they have the tectonic plates are separating. The North American and the Eurasian te tectonic plates are separating. 
they snorkeled it and I got to scuba dive it. The best dive of my life. And I'm saying that because, yes, it was freezing. It was freezing. We did it and we all had dry suits on, not mm -hmm. even wetsuits. We had dry suits on. But I've never had underwater topography up close like that, unusual. At one point, you're able to touch both underwater, touch both tectonic plates, um, crystal clear water because it's could all drink filtered. It. You could drink you it. You could it drink was, the water. Yeah. It's glacier, glacier it's water. Glacier. Glacial yeah. filtration. So clear. Through, not only glacier water, filtered through the lava. So yeah. super um, clean, yeah. mm -hmm. delicious. Yeah. The air even smells different. The, yeah. you, you get off the bus and you're like, Fresh. It's, it's like, so yeah. clean. It's yeah. just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody knows the Blue Lagoon. Um, I want to hear about that oh. Blue Lagoon. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll let Suzanne talk about it. She knows about it more. Yeah. So Blue Lagoon is a man-made lagoon, which a lot of people don't realize. Um, it's it's the blue water. It's, it's like Sue's shirt. Um, it's halfway between the city and the airport. So most of the times I'll have my customers do it on their way home. because There's no sense going 45 mm -hmm. minutes out to come 45 minutes back in. Um, it's, you're standing in water that's, it depends how tall you are, but for like us, chest deep. Um, it's got all the minerals, all the silica. So people that have skin problems, um, it's a great, great remedy for that. They've got spa packages there now specifically for people with skin problems. Um, you go in, you get the mask, you put on the mask, and so you take all, you take the pictures with the different masks, <laughs> then you wash the mask off, then you get another one. Um, they've got a bar inside in oh, the yeah. in the lagoon. So, yeah, like a yep. swim up bar um, that you go to. Um, it's just a it's just a couple hours, fabulous time. Um, Iceland has a lot of different lagoons. That's the most well known one. Is the water very warm? It is. It's a hundred and two. Whatever. I would say two, three, yeah, yeah. hundred two. So yeah. it's therapeutic. Yeah. And we were there during the three of us were in it during a nor'easter. <sighs> so we were warm. Yeah. While we were in North, like, Northeaster, we had to go right way like, down under the water. Okay. Do you remember that? Let's, yeah. Because yeah, we were so, if you came up remember? too much, you'd be in a storm and freezing. So you had to keep your kind of yeah. mouth down into the water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sounds to me like you're making a lot of memories. Absolutely. A lot of good oh. ones. Yeah. Absolutely. We yeah. have good memories. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I love traveling. Very lucky. And we, yeah. and we travel so well together. Yeah. We're all like, like well, you're like family. I know, I know, you know I know. Thank you. She's family. Um, I, we're all kind of loosey goosey as such, as far as flexible. Mm -hmm. um, no one, none of us prima donnas. No, you know, no. And, and so we'll get up this morning, and we're, we're supposed to be doing this, and we'll say, "How about let's do this instead?" Yeah, let's okay. do this instead. Yeah, <laughs> we change. We can pivot. We can or we change. Or we heard about something, and yeah. we relocate because we somebody made a recommendation. We can yeah. easily do that too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're not partiers. We're not out late until you know midnight, mm -hmm. one a.m. at the discos or the bars. That's just not us. We're there to experience the country, experience wherever we are, but we're just as happy going to the beach. Mm -hmm. That's um, right. You know, going to the beach and sitting and, and reading a book and going and swimming and, and going to the <laughs> to the um, Tulum, to the... Um, Maya ruins. Yeah, the, the, to the pyramids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, put us any place, put us in a paper bag, as Sue would say. <laughs> I know, have put a me good time. Yeah. Yeah, it's, right. it's just, we're just <clears throat> great travel together. Suppose a group goes with you, Suzanne, and one person in the group likes to kind of cling to, cling to you. Yeah. How do you handle that? I don't have that. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, you don't have that. Happen. I'm kidding. No. Um, no, I haven't. No, but I, I don't mind either. Um, I don't mind either, um, because I'm hoping that they're going to have a good time. And I always tell my travelers, this is my vacation. This is your vacation. Uh, this is what I'm doing on Tuesday. Tuesday, I'm going to go to the changing of the guards. If you want to join me, great. If you don't want to, uh, it's your vacation. Fine. So on the smaller groups, quite often, we are like that all the time because we have such a good time together. Um, so I don't mind mind someone sticking with me. Um, the Iceland, we, I went to Iceland this past summer again. Um, these two ladies didn't join us, but there was 20 two of us, I think 24 of us that went in July, which is totally different going in the summer than going in the winter. And we were out, we had a private bus. Um, we went out for the whole day on a sightseeing tour. And we come back and it's five o'clock back to the hotel. We've been out since eight o'clock. And I say, okay, you know, you know, tomorrow's bus is picking us up at whatever, whatever, t whatever time we're doing. And someone says, what are you doing for dinner? And I says, I don't know. I said, um, I'm going to go up and change. And I said, why do you want to join me? And they said, yeah. 
And yeah, I do too. I do too. I do too. I do too. <laughs> so I said, okay, well, let's meet back down here in an hour. Whoever wants to join us, join us fine. Whoever doesn't. Out of the 20, whatever, however many there was, only two didn't join us. So it was either 20 right. or 22, and they went out on a date night. Other than that, so we're walking to this restaurant, and I'm thinking, these 20 something people, as of yesterday, didn't know each other. Okay, today we've spent eight hours together on a bus. Okay, and here they want to spend more time together at a dinner. I was like, I, I just felt so happy that everybody just got along. Um, a lot. Often we meet up for breakfast still too with brothers yeah. in Wakefield to keep that kind of com that friendship yeah. going. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've got a lot of single ladies that travel with me, and I'll tell them, you're sleeping alone, you're not traveling alone. So you come mm -hmm. down to breakfast this morning and there's 14 people that you know. And you'll say, Sue, can I sit with you? Absolutely. Or if you want to sit by yourself, fine. If you want some right. time just to, to whatever. Um, so you're with everybody during the day and then you go back and you're by yourself at nighttime, which is a lot of people like to do that. And everybody's happy. It just, it just works that way. Suzanne, you are a people person, <laughs> wouldn't you say? Yeah. So you bring yeah. people together. Yeah. That's a beautiful yeah. thing. Yeah, and I've got some of my, my, more so my single lady travelers, but are now Facebook, or Facebook friends with everybody. But they, they meet each other just, and they go out to dinner, they go out to the theater just on their, their own. They've made new friends through, through the travel through. group. That's wonderful. And then couples that are, that travel, yeah, it's, it's just a great group. Added benefit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. unintended benefit. Unintended benefit. Absolutely, yeah. when you can yeah. make new yeah. relationships out of your travel. Yeah. yeah. And then you, you build on that. Yeah, yeah. yeah this past um, trip for London, um, we had one new traveler with us. He had never traveled um, with the, the holiday travel group as such. By the first day, he was, okay, he's one of us. <laughs> you know, he just, he just fit right in and yeah. It's but just, you make it easy. You I know, try to, yeah. You make it so comfortable yeah. and easy, you know. Yeah. If she were a different type of person, you'd be like, mm, see ya, you know, but she, <laughs> just makes it so comfortable and I know. makes it easy, yeah. I, know. I think. And mm. that's the fun of traveling, is that you, you, it should be stressless. I mean, there's enough stress out in that's the world true. anyways. You're right. You know, and there's certain things you can't you can help but handle, or help, help but um, come across. If there's a weather delay or a strike or something mm. like that, but everything else should be fun. No matter where you go, you go into Boston for the day, it should be fun. You know, you don't have to go away, away. It, yeah. it, it's fun. So kind of on that too, one of the things you're reminding me of is even if you travel with a group or not, I love meeting people who are on a tour with you from other parts of the country or yeah. other countries. Other countries yeah. You know, I still keep in touch with the uh, sisters that I met in New Zealand who are British. I still keep it, and that was in, in 2020 I met them. Mm. And I, no, that's all I, no. 2000. Yeah. Yeah, I've known Long them for over ago. 20 years. Yeah. Did you say New Zealand? Amy? We met in New Zealand, they live in, gonna... they live in the UK and I still keep in touch with them. And I love, meeting other people that I never would have met before. Yeah. And now you now you are in correspondence with those people. Yeah, for over 20 years. Yeah. Yeah. Follow their lives. You know, one of them graduates or has a baby. You know, we just kind of still keep in touch. And I'm going to meet Adam. Yep. So my my mom and I are traveling to England in April in a couple months. <gasps> Tell us about it. So we're it's kind of unrelated to to Suzanne, but um, when well, I went to school in Australia, I had a floor mate lived on my floor who was British and my mom and he have been Facebook friends for over 20 years and never met. Um, so I got to see him in 2019 again um, through Rotary actually for work. And um, you know, for her Christmas present, we're gonna, bring her, to, Christmas gonna bring her to meet Adam finally and his family. So she surprised me with that. Yep, she, she lives said... in uh, Southeastern uh, UK in England in Kent. So kind of near where uh, Dover, the White Cliffs of Dover and Canterbury in that area. So we're going to fly over. Let's, I think we're there for like six days. Spend the weekend been. with him and hang out in London. And take yeah. some, actually, I'm stealing some of Suzanne's excursions yeah. for, that she just went on. So yeah. we'll cross-pollinate there. But yeah. How long will you be in England? Uh, I think we're going to be there for six Week? nights, seven days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I haven't been there since Amos was seven. My mm -hmm. brother uh, was married to a British girl, so we went there. So I haven't been there since a long time ago. Do you think maybe Stonehenge would be in the mix? I've been. So when I was there in 2019 for work in Rotary, that was a bucket list for me and I went to Stonehenge. 
Yeah. You just can't. We like stuck. traveling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we like, oh, this is the other thing. We were driving and uh, we were driving through Georgia, and we like finding oh, yeah. like the roadside attractions. That's always fun too. Yeah. Um, oh. National parks. We're all into national parks. So even traveling within the United States is yeah. a lot yeah. of fun, and we have such a beautiful country. Um, but I highly recommend checking out those little roadside attractions. We had a great time driving from South Carolina through Georgia. Ended up in um, Charlotte, North Carolina. Yeah. 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 So kind of a weird and you route. were on that trip too yeah, yeah that yeah. one i was yeah, yeah. 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 Both, all three of us yeah, all three of us yeah. all three of you yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. yes yeah. that was so <laughs> sweet oh my goodness yes yes so do you keep um um facebook page susan or amy do you have a facebook page about your travels i don't looped in not about that so suzanne has <laughs> a mascot I, which I don't yes, think we bring. I no. want to oh, talk about oh, you Holly. Holly. Okay, so if you're on Instagram, um, follow There Goes Holly, H O L I, as in holiday travel. There Goes Holly. That's become my <laughs> travel album. So it's a little stuffed animal. Uh, her name is Holly. She sometimes has outfits that we bring her with <laughs> or accessories, and we travel with her and take pictures of her with people, without people. Uh, attractions on excursions and that's become my little photo album because I'll be like I forgot about that and I take more pictures of her <laughs> than of me in these albums yeah. but a lot of times what we do is we'll come back and we'll make um, photo books and share those you yeah. didn't bring Holly with no, you too, did you? No. No. shoot uh, <clears throat> Holly yeah. um, is a cute little kind of like a little bear she's, she's, a brown. Fox. she's, a fox. she's brown she's yeah. foxy yeah. and she has little ears <laughs> yeah. and she's very cute and <laughs> Something happened around the Christmas oh, holiday oh, 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 with that Holly fun. that That's I right. think we should tell our our viewers about. <laughs> Holly was at our open house um, in the middle of December. Um, we had it at Brothers, and she was on the registration table in a big basket like this of the thank you take home gifts. And towards the end of the evening, from what I understand, there either was only a couple of the ornaments left or maybe no ornaments, and she was in the basket. And one of my customers thought she was the take-home gift. <laughs> um, he's not on Facebook, and he's not on Instagram, not on social media, so he doesn't know the Holly story. And he took her home. Not viciously, just, no. uh -huh. yep. And it was, that was on a Wednesday. Chaos ensued. Chaos ensued, yep. I <laughs> thought that someone took her as a joke, and I was going to get a ransom note the next day. I was sure. For sure. Mm -hmm. um, we put a post out that <laughs> night. Okay, Holly's missing. Where? Who took her? Where is she? Crickets. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Everybody's like, where's Holly? Where's Holly? Where's Holly? But no one said, yeah. I have her, haha, -ha, or a ransom note. Yeah. And it was very upsetting. It, yeah, it, was, it was awful. It was, was heartbreaking. Yeah, I was heartbroken <laughs> yeah. reading this. Somebody took We Holly. need to find Holly. Yeah. yeah. So the Chamber of Commerce put out an email. So it's been out on Instagram, Facebook, about the holiday travel. Um, the Chamber Facebook page, and we've all shared it. All shared it. Yeah. Where's Holly? Crickets, nothing, absolutely nothing. So finally, on the Tuesday, so it's been almost a week now, I send an email out to everybody <clears throat> that registered with the Holiday Travel Group. Because I'm thinking everybody from Holiday Travel knows Holly, so they would, you know, sh she wouldn't have disappeared with them. And I get a call about 4 o'clock that afternoon, and it's one of my customers. And he says, Suzanne, he says, I have your baby. <laughs> and it took me a second. I says, you have Holly? And he was so apologetic. Like I said, he's not on Facebook, not, so on, bad, yeah. on, not on Instagram. <laughs> Holly had the best time at his house. She was in his Christmas tree. He, had, he took pictures of her this whole week, not knowing what was going on. He had her up by the angel. So he had pictures of her snuggling with the angel. She was here. She was there. She was by the snow bear. She was, all, he had more fun with her in that week while we're all panicking, like, where's Holly? He brought her back to me that afternoon, wrapped in green tissue <coughs> paper, laying down in his lunchbox, oh and God. brought her in. Oh and I felt so bad taking her back, but she had to come back. She had to. She had to come she back. She is yep. holiday travels mascot. Yeah, absolutely. And now we're going to, like, microchip her. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to have to, like, attach a microchip. That's a good idea. Yeah. Microchip. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, I wonder if it's possible. You could put an air tag in her. But there I, you go. I love traveling with her because, especially oh. with little kids, oh and they God. they kind of like 
you know, what is like, why is an adult carrying a stuffed animal around? But I love that interaction because even if we don't speak the same language, when you kind of like it's smile, nice it's a great one. Yeah. yeah, you can just have a lot of smiles and we laugh and, yeah. you know, do you want to take a picture? And we do stuff like that with her. Yeah. So it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, I think that's great. And she has her own suitcase and everything. She does. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Her she has a whole wardrobe. She yeah. does. Oh, earrings, earrings to match. Oh, yeah. <laughs> earrings to match. Bathing they suit. Got bathing suit. Hats, sunglasses. Oh, yeah. glasses. Goodness. Sunglasses. Flippers when she's in the water. She's got a scuba gear. Yeah. Yeah. Scuba gear. Uh, scuba gear. Yeah. What's yeah. her London outfit? It's the... Um... Oh, so she's got a couple. So her London outfit, um, she <laughs> has one with a fascinator for when she's formal with pearls <laughs> for the queen when she has tea. And then she has a Mary Poppins outfit. Oh, that's right. Has anybody heard about the um, bearskin hats in London and the move on to do away with them? No. 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 Mm -hmm. I read it yesterday. Because they're real bearskin or because of? Because of the bearskin, PETA is now okay. getting involved. Oh, yeah. come on. Yeah. Yeah. I know, but yeah. 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 They're, we that, they fake. may become a thing of the past. Yeah. I don't well, know yet. Holly does not have any bare skin, anything. All of her things are faux fur. <laughs> Just like her. <laughs> <laughs> Just like her. <laughs> so, um, what's coming up now? New and exciting. New and exciting. Um, Sicily, I have a group in May. It's been sold out for probably eight months. There's 77 of us that are going. Wow. It's a huge group. Yep. Um, are you going, Susan? Mm -hmm. Are you yep. going? Uh, no. Oh, mom and dog. Mom and we're breaking up for that one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we're yeah. mixing up for I that. A, I have yeah. a trip later. She's yeah. doing something else again. Yeah. So, Go so we've got Sicily, mm -hmm. and then we've got in end of July into August, we've got Canadian Rockies. Yeah. That's and then is that on the um, Rocky Mountain? Uh, no, we're not on. We're on a bus. We're not on the. Um, we're doing the same basic itinerary, but we're doing it by bus and not by train. Mm -hmm. Um, and then the end of, uh, excuse me, end of November, beginning of December, we've got Christmas markets um, out of Budapest, mm -hmm. back to Budapest, um, heading up uh, westward, up into Vienna for Christmas markets. That is sold out right now. And then um, August of 2025, it ha this is my first announcement of it, um, we're doing African safari. <gasps> Oh going to my Kenya. goodness, an oh, African yeah. safari. That's yeah. so badly. Yeah. So that'll be like like the last week of August um, is, is going to be that. When you, so, when you put these trips together, mm -hmm. uh, Susie, and do you always take into account what the weather might be like, Absolutely. for example, yeah. in South Africa yeah. around the time of August? Yeah. Would it be too hot or too... So we're not doing South Africa. We're going up into Kenya. Um, for the safari. So Africa's been on my bucket list since high school. I've always wanted to go. Um, and finally, finally getting to do it. And I want to see the animals. I'm going to Africa for the animals. South Africa, from what I understand, there's a lot of other things to do. You can go to vineyards, you can go to waterfalls, and oh yeah, there's some animals here. But they're not the, the main thing. Um, so I'm doing Kenya for the animals. Um, I'm going to go over a couple of days ahead of time and probably stay a couple of days later beyond the safari. Um, one of the reasons I've picked August is the migration season starts the beginning of August. So, oh, that's right. so when you when you tell me this, a lot of what you put together for trips, it sounds like you do a, a an amazing amount of mm -hmm. research. Yeah, yeah, that's my job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so we're picking the end of August. Um, I don't want to do the beginning because. The migration is kind of like fall foliage. It could begin August 1st, or like the fall foliage could begin October 1st, or it could not, or kind of like the tulips in Holland, or whatever that there's a season. So I picked a little bit later into August in case the, the animals are running late. You know, they didn't get the, t they didn't get the message. <laughs> they okay. didn't get the memo. Yeah, start, start <laughs> to migrate. Um, so I'm doing it um, the last week of August. Um, and that way, anybody that's still on summer break um, before they go back to school, um, if they're interested, they, they're able to, to do it. So, so that's where we've got so go. far. Um, that's a year and a half out, and people are always saying, well, what are you doing after that? And it's like, oh, I don't know yet. <laughs> Didn't you have the Croatia trip, too? Um, is this at all? Yeah, I'm not doing 
I'm not doing that. I had a, I've got Scotland out there, a group that oh, I'm not going oh, on. Oh, that you're going on. Yeah, Sorry. I'm not going on the Scotland group. Um, Croatia's out there. I will have other stuff in 2025, but I just don't know what yet. I want to talk about Croatia, yeah. Game of Thrones. <laughs> a lot of it was filmed there. Yeah. Was it also filmed partially in Iceland? It was. Yeah. In Northern Ireland as well. Yeah. So I'll be going to Northern Ireland in um, September and we're doing a Game of Thrones tour. Mm -hmm. I'm not going on that one. You're not going yet. No, I'm going to go on the safari one. <laughs> <laughs> well, why not? You oh, yeah. Why, why not? not? If anybody can do anything, just do it. Just go and enjoy yourself. You While know? you're healthy. That's Why the whole thing. I Absolutely. I don't care if you go Absolutely. to Boston. I don't care I, if you go to Florida. Anywhere. Do it while you're healthy because... All you got to do is slip and fall and break a knee, a, a hip, a whatever, and then your adventuresome travel, you're done with. It's 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 tough. Um, so do any of the strenuous yep. things, yep. no matter what they are, um, when you're young, not young, but while you're healthy. You don't have to be young. You just have to be healthy. Right. Movable. Move, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Europe has a lot of cobblestones, mm. a lot of marble, and they are not ADA compliant. Okay, so we're so yeah. used to here that, oh, I'll, I'll be in a wheelchair, or I'll have a rollator, or I'll have whatever. No, they don't have it in Europe. And they, uh, bathrooms, we were noticing oh. bathrooms in, in London, you had to go downstairs, which meant you had to come back upstairs. You had to go upstairs, which meant you had to come back downstairs. Mm -hmm. In the train stations, in the bus stations, they were yeah. all not on the main floor. You know, yeah. if you're if you're hobbling around, it's it's tough. And so you better mind it. the gap. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, yeah. Or bring so, your or bring your cane. <laughs> yeah, no. So no matter where you travel, I don't care where you travel, do it while you're healthy. That's right. You you're you right. just have to. Yeah. Thank you so much for being with me today. Thank you. This Thank has been you. a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. We get yeah. to be together. Yeah. I think yeah. it's wonderful. Yeah. yeah. You have such happy faces, <laughs> all three of you. That's because we are happy. Yeah. I know, yeah. you're very happy yeah. people. We're very lucky to travel, though. We're very yeah. lucky to Absolutely. travel, yeah. to be able to mm -hmm. be together, you know, and like I said, Susie yeah. family to and me, you know. don't you notice something about your last name? Of how course. Lucky. L-U-C-K. Yeah. yeah, right? That's right. That's how it starts. That's right. Yeah. I think it's wonderful. Well, Gail, thank, thank you. you so thank much for you. this time. It's, it's you, been Suzanne. fabulous. Yeah. It's been yeah. such a pleasure for me because I am also passionate about travel. Where's your favorite destination? Well, if I just handed you $5,000 and said you have oh. to go someplace in the next six months, where, what, what's immediately come to your, your head? That trip that I saw on your website about Scotland oh. sounded really Scotland. good. Yeah. 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 That one. I have not been to Scotland yet. I haven't either. It's on my list. Scotland. Yeah, I love it's Scotland. on my yeah. list. Yeah. Um, maybe the Amalfi Coast. Yeah. yeah. Um, Italy is. I love Italy. Yeah. I love France. I loved being in Germany and Austria, and yeah. and Venice. I put that trip together for us a few years ago. Um, there are so many places, and so little time. I was just gonna say, so many places, yeah. so little time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. really. Mm -hmm. yeah. The time is now. You got to do things now. No. Yeah, while the going is good. Yeah, that's right. right. Yeah. Every and day is a plus, you know. About, and, yeah, about Suzanne doing all the research and stuff. That's the biggest benefit of using a travel agent versus booking online. Yeah. One stop. And she you knows know? all the little nooks and yeah. crannies yeah. of everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Don't you, Suzanne? And she makes it easy. Yeah. You know, you don't have to be thinking, oh, I wonder if Suzanne did this or I wonder. No, done. You don't have to worry about no. it. She's done it. No. Yeah, it's great. Thank you. you How Thank many you people are, are, um, are employed at your agency? Six. Six. Yeah. And they all have different... Everybody's got a different little niche or clientele. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we don't compete against each other. You know, I mean, we're no. all just... Yeah. yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Well, um, I think we can safely... Call it an afternoon. Absolutely. Well, thank you so yeah. much. Thanks. You're it's welcome. Been it's yeah. been my pleasure. And um, I wish you all safe travels. You also. Thank you. You, you too. too. Yeah. Yeah. In you too. peace. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And in love. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you for being here with me today. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.